What's going on, leaders? What's going on, leaders? It's your boy, your favorite driver, and we're back with another one. Today, I will be talking about the average miles you'll be getting on this um, account, the Dollar General account, and I will be clarifying, clear enough, um, the three ways you get paid on this account. So stay tuned. It's your boy, your favorite driver. Just getting to the DC, about to load back up for today. Today I'm gonna um, be talking about how many miles you'll probably be getting a week on this account. Um, so um, yeah, we're gonna get into it. I got a uh, comment in my um, on one of my videos about the ways you get paid, um, stop, delivery, and um, miles paid. So I'm gonna um, clarify on that because I had a subscriber come in and he wanna get more clarification on that so with that being said once my student get finished dropping my trailer we're gonna go ahead and jump into the video so if you ain't subscribed please just go ahead and subscribe to the channel try to grow this thing up to at least a hundred within the next two months you know I'm at about 20 to 20 uh, subscribers right now so that's pretty fair you know I just started a month ago so hey I'll let you buy it. up in the yard about to go in here and see what kind of loads they got for me today hopefully they got something fruitful try to stay inside in georgia i don't really feel like going to tennessee today but if i got to that's what i'm at gotta get to it the county and what kind of miles you're looking for to get on this account um for beginners, if you just starting out on this account, you won't get that many miles. I know an orientation that tell you you're gonna get, uh, you're gonna average around maybe um 1,300 miles per week, which is probably the average. I would say the average. I average around 1,800 to 2,000 miles or more a week. So just starting out, you won't average but around 1,000 miles a week. Let me go ahead and get my load in here. And I see my man pulling up now, so he wanna chop it up. So I'm gonna get back with y'all. Keep trucking. All set, boss. Oh, what's that trailer number for tomorrow? You still want me to do that sweep or what? One three two five. Yeah, that the big one. Yeah. Yes, sir. One one three two five. That's it. All right, fellas. Hopefully, y'all can see me. But I just picked up my load for tomorrow. I've been doing a lot of ripping and running. You can see that I got a four stop. All in Tennessee. So yeah, we're gonna get to the video, man. I'm gonna show y'all. Well, I'm gonna tell y'all more in morning. detail about how to unload, pay works, stop pay, and then how you get your miles. You know, your miles are self explanatory. You gotta drive with that. So, yeah, I'm gonna let you drive. Yeah, I know you're kind of getting bored now. Yeah, so my student's gonna drive. I've been driving all day, and uh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get back with y'all when we get to the, uh, the terminal when I stop. So. I'm back, drivers. Now that I don't got settled down, I can talk to y'all about this this pay, how we get paid on the Dollar General account. Now, depending on depending on where y'all live at the state y'all in the pay might be different you know the unload pay the miles the stop pay they all gonna be different depending on the area you're pulling out of or where you live at 
So I'm here in Georgia, you know, um, so I pull out of the Atlanta area, down in Jackson, Georgia. So if any of y'all pulling out of Jackson, Georgia, y'all can come holler at me. Oh, let me see where he went. Every time I try to get on my load. Just getting here. So I'm back, y'all. Now that I can talk to y'all about his pay, y'all gotta understand that I be trying to do my videos while I'm working. So some of my videos will be broken up or you know it won't be that consistent. But most of the time I, I'm trying to work and put these videos out. So I apologize if you know it takes me a minute to put them out or that. You know, it be in the morning sometimes when I'm talking to y'all then in the afternoon when I'm finishing up. I got to grind too, man. So, you know, once I'm freed up, then, you know, I'll go ahead and record this and, you know, put it out there for y'all. But I'm here at the Lithium Springs Terminal right now. I'm just just park, park my trailer and um, I'm finna head on out. But before I do, I'm going to go over this paint with y'all. So, pulling out the Atlanta area, like I said, it's going to be different from you know, Alabama, Mississippi, and so on, you know, Texas. Everybody that pulls out of different states is gonna get different pay, so just keep that in mind. But I'm I'm out of Atlanta. So um, the first pay is your mile pay. Depending on your experience, it's gonna it's gonna determine the cents per mile which you'll be getting paid. You know, they'll say you might start out with 42 cents, 46 cents, 38 cents, blase, blase, blase. Whatever cents per mile you get paid, they start you off with, you got to go by that, you know, period. If you don't have any experience, you're going to be getting, you know, mid-30s, you know, mid-30, low 40 cents per mile. So, say for instance, you know, we're making... 38 cents per mile. So if y'all want to write this down, I can, you know, go through it with you, you know, or you can just rewind the video and, you know, go back and check. So, say for instance, you got 38 cents per mile. That's what you get paid for mile per mile, you know. And you're running that day, you might do. 248 mile round trip. All our miles is gonna be round trip for that day. You know, so keep that 30, 38 cents per mile in stock. So Monday, Monday you do 200 miles, 248 miles that day. Tuesday you do another 250 miles. Wednesday you might might bus 360 miles on you know and then on Thursday you're gonna come back with they might give you something like 288 miles you know that's a light load Friday you know Friday you might do another you might do another 260 264 I'll just say 264 you know because I don't I want to keep the numbers you know, like, not so even, but that's five days of work, man. Sometimes you might want to work Saturday or you might want to work six days. I only work five days. I work Tuesday through Saturday. I choose to work Monday if I want to, but I, I leave that open. But say, for instance, you're going to work on Saturday, so that's six days out of the week. Your Saturday load should be your home load. So that, depending on how far you stay or the area, you know, you might get a home load say that's like 280 miles round trip for six days so we're gonna add all those up you know Monday like I said Monday if you're writing it down if not you can go back and um, review the video but it's like Monday we did 248 okay Tuesday we did 250 Wednesday, we'll do 360, you know. Um, Thursday, we'll do 288. Friday, we'll come back and do 264. And then, you know, Saturday, if you choose to run, you might do 280. So that's a total of, in 
this is like this is like real life you know this ain't even a lot of driving you know so that, that's a total of 1690 miles for the week versus over the road where you're doing 3500 miles per week or 2500 2800 that's 1600 miles that whole week and you could do this you know you could do this all in the same state you live in. You know, I do this in Georgia. I never leave the state of Georgia most of the time. And then a lot of times I just go to Tennessee and back, you know. I hit North Carolina every now and again, but it's not deep. So that's 16, 1,690 miles. So if you multiply that times your cents per mile, which is 38 cents per mile, That'll give you a total of six hundred forty-two dollars and twenty cents. That's what you made in mile pay, you know, in your miles. So six hundred dollars and forty-two cents just driving in miles, you know, that's some good money for a week. But you know, you're a truck driver, so you need to make more than that. So added on into that would be your stop pay. So, like I said, Monday, we're going to go back up to Monday. If you've been writing it down, you know, we're going to go back up to Monday. You had times three stops. Tuesday, you had another three stops. Wednesday, say you had two stops because you had a lot of miles to drive, so they might give you a two stops, you know. Uh, say this to Tuesday, you had a four stop. You know, it was short. You know, you might get a four stop. Friday, you had another three stop. Um, Saturday, you might get a two stop or a three stop. We'll just go with three stop. So, Monday, Monday we had three stop. Tuesday, we had three stops. Wednesday, we had two stop. Thursday, we had four stop. Friday, we had three. And then Saturday, we had three. So, your stop pay going to vary in each, each state. You know, here in Georgia, we get paid. $25 you know per stop so that's $25 per stop so now we're going to add that up I got my calculator right here too because you know I ain't that good on the top of my head with math so I use my calculator to leave that 3 Monday plus three Tuesday, plus two Wednesday, plus four Thursday, plus three Friday, and then we did another three Saturday. That's 18 stops for that week. Now that's a lot of stops, you know. Most of the time your fleet manager, they're not, they not going to give you that many stops unless you qualify and they, they know you can do it. You show and prove that you can do that many stops. You know, I do 18 or more stops. Or try to, you know, if my fleet manager's got it, you know, but 18 stops, say for instance, you did 18 stops that, that week. So you multiply 18 stops times 25, that's $450 in stop pay. That's four hundred and sixty. That's four hundred and fifty dollars in stop pay. I'm sorry. Now, now that we got our miles pay out the way, you got six hundred forty-two dollars and twenty cents in miles pay. You got four hundred and fifty dollars that week in stop pay, unload pay. Here in Georgia, each unload is a hundred dollars. So Monday, that's a hundred dollars. Tuesday is a hundred dollars and so on, you know, a hundred dollars per day. A hundred dollars per day. Now your state might pay you eighty dollars. I know Georgia did pay us eighty dollars to unload, but then it went up to a hundred. Some states might differ. It might be one twenty five or whatnot. You know, so you add it up the same way I'm doing it. So you work six days that 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 week and um that's a hundred times six. One, two, three, four, five, six hundred dollars. So that's six hundred dollars you made 
just by unloading. So now, <laughs> you already know, you just add these three up. Add them up. Add them up. You got $642.20 plus $450 plus the $600 plus the $600 unloaded for that week. That'll give you a total if you did it like I did it. That'll give you a total of $1,600 $92.20 for that week on the Dollar General account. Now you got to grind to get this right here. It's it's easy work when you got a system, but I'm telling you, once you get it down pat, your grind will be so easy. $1,692.20. Did I say that right? Yeah, so that's $1,600 right there off the bat, 1692. Now, depending on what you got coming out, on your taxes, you know, you gotta deduct whatever your child support might be. If you got child support on there, your taxes, if you're single, they gonna deduct 300 and some dollars out of that or whatnot. So, and all, you might just bring home after taxes and all that good stuff, you are gonna bring home probably about $1,200, you know, $1,300 out of that depending on your tax, you know, if you're exempt, you're gonna bring home all of that, you know, so you probably bring home about $1,500 if you're exempt, the state gonna take a little bit, you know, but that's how you, that's how you break it down, man, you know, um, your unload pay is um, $100 per trailer, so that's $100 out of top once you grab the trailer, you know, you're gonna get $100 each day, you work five days, it'll be $500, Unload, unload pay, you know. Just a hundred dollars a trailer. Once you grab that trailer, it's hundred dollars. Your mile will vary on, you know, your experience, and, you know, and how long you've been on the account and all that good stuff. And the stop pay is just depending on the state you're running out of. The DC you're running out of, whether it be thirty dollars, twenty-five dollars, or you know, forty dollars. You know, you know, but that's how you add it up. Add up the total miles for that week. You know, not saying you're gonna get this, but that's how you do it. And in order to get more miles, better trips, your experience on the account got to be good. You know, it got to be better. You got to improve every day and every week. So, um, you know, hopefully I got it. Hopefully I cleared it up for you, man. You know. Um, if not, just comment, you know, be, be specific on what you want, want to hear. And um, I got you, man. I'm going to look out for you. You know, um, if you come down here in Jackson, Georgia, Atlanta, you know, look me up. I'm here running every day, man. You know, I'm training. And um, I'm not going to mind. I ain't telling nobody that wrong. You know, so um, just holler at your boy. I'm going to get on out of this truck, man. These people out here, um, these people out here. On school working, and um, that's it. It's your favorite driver. Subscribe to the channel, man. No matter.